um, Mr. Uh, Dr. Antonio, um, we are ready to hear you. Yes, please uh, switch on the microphone. Hello to everyone and uh, welcome to this webinar. Happy to be here and to speak with you. I'll tell you something about uh, Ayurveda in Italy, its development, and uh, how it is connected with the development of Ayurveda in Europe. It is uh, about uh, uh, 40, 50 years that Ayurveda arrived in Italy. In the last uh, 15 years, that uh, there has been uh, a real development in uh, the uh, in the Ayurveda as a medical discipline and a science. When, uh, uh, the, because uh, uh, before speaking about uh, Ayurveda, I have uh, to tell you how I arrived to Ayurveda, because I think it is uh, something important to understand how a Western doctor can feel the need of Ayurveda. Like I said, I am a, a neurologist, and I spent many years of my life uh, working in the United States. I was working at Case Western Reserve University in the neuropathology division, working on neurodegenerative diseases. Um, time, uh, I was working in, uh, I was the, the head of the cell culture laboratory. We had many models of uh, cell culture. And uh, actually there was a, a, a cell culture of the, we have many models. And one of these was uh, the cell culture of the heart of a rat. There several mm -hmm. models of cell culture. One of these was a uh, cell culture from a rat. You know, a small animal. Wonderfully. They were beautiful. They had uh, all the receptor expressed, all the, uh, you know, genome expressed perfectly. You know, they were looking wonderful, but... Uh, I asked myself why they were growing flat, because the cell culture, when the cells are in culture, they grow flat. They do not form an organ. If I take cells from a liver, they do not form the shape of a liver, but they grow flat. So I was wondering why they were growing flat. Missing was the rest of the rat. Not not other elements. What was missing was the rest of the rat. So, what was missing? Attention from the organ to the relationship that give the shape to the organ. A different system of epistemology that was helping me in look at nature in a different way. Because modern science look at the organs, not at the relationship. I explored many different systems of knowledge and I arrived to Ayurveda. Because Ayurveda is the real science of relationship. And everything is in relation. Due to the limitation of our senses that nature looks separated is connected in an in an infinite network to change our, our way of thinking in order to enter in the logic of ayurveda one of the most important thing that are needed to switch our system of thinking is to learn the basic of sanskrit because sanskrit change our way of thinking. Try to look at nature in a different way. Nothing is separated. We are the environment. Yeah. Speak about how Ayurveda is, uh, is, uh, is, what is the state of Ayurveda in, uh, in Italy right now? National Board of Medical Doctors 
as a medical act of the profession of Ayurveda therapist, and we should arrive after a few years of work to the definition at the end of this year of the profession. Still, there is no a uh, government regulation about the education and the implementation of Ayurveda in the health system. This is, a, let's say, something very common in Europe, because in very few countries of Europe, Ayurveda is, has been acknowledged, acknowledged as a medical system by the government. Of medical doctors or some insurance that acknowledge Ayurveda, but there is not a government law that rules Ayurveda. We decided to work in a structural way on this situation and we founded Ayurvedic Point. So, from, uh, yes, from yes, uh, yes. the first slide, um, you can see mm -hmm. uh, you, you have a few informations about Ayurvedic Point. Since there is no law, we decided that this institution should be the most legitimate that possible to teach and practice Ayurveda. The first thing that we have done is to have the ISO 9001 certification of quality. This is an international certification of quality of the proceedings of our school uh, entity out from ours every year come and check if our procedures are correct as we will see later is structured as the program of a university degree the italian scientific society of ayurvedic medicine that is an association that uh, you know um, collect also other institutions than Ayurvedic Point in, in a kind of federation to act as a political tool. And the Italian Scientific Society of Ayurvedic Medicine were between the founder of the Permanent Consensus Committee on Non-Conventional Medicine, of associations of non-conventional medicines that means uh, traditional Chinese medicine, homeopathy, uh, osteopathy, uh, and so on, uh, to act as a political tool in order to get the approval of the law of non-conventional medicine by the government. In, uh, in, uh, in, 2000, uh, in 2014, between 2013 and 2014, we were between the founder of the International Network for Development of Research in Ayurveda, INDRA, that is an uh, international association, international network of institutions for, you know, uh, directing the research of Ayurveda and uh, finding a synergy in the research on Ayurveda. the most important thing that the research in Ayurveda has to be uh, organized in such a way that we can get results that can, be, that can be of utility for both the Western and the Eastern system of knowledge. So, Ayurvedic Point has several affiliations all over the world. In Jamnagar, to the SNA Yoshadasala, that is one of the most ancient institutions in India, a medical uh, society, which is an association that uh, uh, collects both uh, Ayurveda and medical doctors and, and the institutions. It's in uh, uh, from uh, Association of Person-Centered Medicine, which is uh, 
a charity, the, it's a very big charity in Italy, uh, Oriental Medicine Studies, CNA, which is a foundation uh, based in Trishur, Kerala, that deals with uh, uh, Ayurveda and uh, you know the Ashtavedian tradition of Ayurveda in Kerala. In Switzerland right now, which is uh, run by Atreya Smith, that uh, is one of the most important herbalist and jotisher in Europe, sure. which is one of the biggest universities in Italy. The Association of Russian Federation, which you know very, very, very well. In our activity, we organized, uh, of course, we have a school, we have, but we are very, very active in the cultural diffusion of Ayurveda. And uh, we organized these two congress, the first International Congress of Ayurveda and the second International Congress of Ayurveda, that have been very important in the history of diffusion of Ayurveda. The Congress of 2009 has been a real breakthrough in the way Ayurveda and, and Ayurvedic science has been diffused in the West. We are organizing the Third International Congress of Ayurveda, which will be held in Milano in September of 2016. And it will, it will be uh, a great event uh, with uh, more than 30 speakers from uh, India and uh, Europe that uh, will be held along with INDRA, the third meeting of INDRA, International Network for Development of Research in Ayurveda. I hope that uh, uh, many of you will come uh, to the event. Dr. Oleg Sorokisto, and uh, uh, there will be people from uh, all over the the, the Western speaker. side of the medical side world and Ayurveda. The main uh, scope of this congress is uh, the is to find an interface between modern science and ayurveda For these reasons uh, have been invited not only ayurvedic doctors but also doctors from modern medicine an integration, but to find a correlation between the two systems of knowledge. I want to start to share my screen. So this is the, yes, the, yes, we see. We see the website video. of the Third International Congress on Ayurveda and is www.ayurvedicpointcongress.com version, the international version, is uh, uh, if you go and so, go to see the event, you see that there will be one pre-congress with some workshop, then two days of full congress with uh, all the all the session that will that have been called coherence because we want to find a coherence between the two systems of knowledge, the participation to two professional there will be also a uh, part for the general public with free conferences and free workshop on the, the introduction to Ayurveda, to the you know lifestyle, yoga, and so on. Indra, uh, there will be the third meeting of Indra, International Network for Development of Research in Ayurveda, where we will be an update of the state of the research and uh, on the uh, guidelines, the application of general guidelines on which we are working for the research. Very important speakers that already confirmed their participation and uh, uh, some of them are from the Western world, like Professor Nereo Bresolin, who is the 
Director of Clinical Neurology of the University of Milano, Professor Antonella Delle Fave, who is uh, of the Department of Pathophysiology of Transplantation of always the University of Milano. And then from India, we have a Professor Dr. Gangadharan, G.G. Gangadharan, is a very important figure of Ayurveda in India. Professor Gupta, uh, Rama Jayasundar, uh, Ernesto Yanakone, who is a Sanskrit translator and is a medical doctor from Sanskrit to Italian, and other Sundar, who is a phys physicist uh, other than uh, an Ayurvedic doctor. This is uh, my spiritual uh, father, Swami Jyotimayananda, who is uh, always with me. <laughs> we have uh, an ongoing study on uh, the osteoarthritis of the knee, with, that is giving fantastic results, of which I will speak to you with you later. Chancellor of the Gujarat Ayurveda University, Padma Shri Krishna Kumarji, who is uh, you know the head of uh, AVP in Coimbatore, Professor Abhimanyu Kumar, who is the director of All Indian Institute of Ayurveda, Professor Subhash Lakotia, who is a professor emeritus of Benares in the university. This uh, person is a zoologist that has been one of the most important scientists in the recent times in the in the in the in the research on Rasayana in Ayurveda. To have all the, all, only Ayurvedic people, but people that are working on Ayurveda, medical genetics at the University of Milano, so on. Professor Singh. There are so many people that uh, will, and Professor Oleg Sorokin. Many, many, many people that will come to this congress to speak. We're continuing this uh, this lecture, and uh, this is the structure of our. Так я готов продолжить свою лекцию. We have a course for Ayurvedic medicine for doctors, and a course of therapists in Ayurveda for uh, therapists. There are both of four years, six hundred contact hours plus. Uh, several hundreds of hours of clinical practice, either in India or in a uh, accredited structure in Italy or Europe. Um, the syllabus, uh, the program uh, of the, our courses, follow the benchmark for training in Ayurveda of the WHO. Available for everyone and uh, uh, give the guideline of the education of uh, Ayurveda outside India. The serious uh, medical school in Europe follow this benchmark. There are many, many schools, but uh, since uh, uh, there is not a clear regulation of education, it is important to follow a guideline from uh, you know, an organization like WHO. The uh, possibility to have uh, some kind of homogeneous uh, uh, education all over the country, and so that we can exchange experience and scientists. But, uh, probably we have done a good job with our school, since uh, we have been the only school, for example, to have uh, the first school to have uh, a dedicated uh, article on a scientific paper, which is not uh, of good, which, which, which is not bad. It is uh, mentioned by the National Board of Medical Doctors in Italy. To uh, become, uh, to, to, to be uh, allowed to practice Ayurveda as a doctor, you have to be before a medical doctor, then you have to take a specialization in Ayurveda. And the syllabus and the time is uh, uh, very well defined. The oh. register of, of a medical doctor expert in Ayurveda in the, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
in the board of medical doctors, but in Ayurveda. And then, and then we have also full credits for continuous education in medicine. And this is uh, something that Italian government approved. As you see, step by step, we are, uh, we are uh, uh, trying to get uh, the most uh, uh, legitimation that is possible in order to uh, uh, bring Ayurveda at the same level of modern medicine and modern science. Also, uh, we have also been called by the university uh, for having teaching activity inside the university. Uh, there are the Faculty of Medicine uh, of uh, the University of Brescia, Faculty of Pharmacy, University of Milano, and we have also some postgraduate courses in the university where we have been called to teach Ayurveda. And this is the structure of our school. As you see, it's a little bit complex. Um, but it is сложной. very functional. Okay, this is uh, the school section with the director, then vice director, and the director of the two courses, uh -huh. the medical doctors and from therapists. Clinical, pharmacology, physiology for doctors, anatomy and the physical therapies for therapists. And here are the students, of course. With the head of medical staff and the medical staff and the head of therapy staff and the therapist. Measure the two points, the two, the two sectors. And the uh, information technology staff and an administrative staff that are functional to the two sectors. Okay. Is under the, chi the the board of directors of Ayurveda Point because Ayurveda Point is a company. Is uh, managed as a charity. Uh, a fiscal and economic point of view, it is very difficult to run a charity, uh, and it is easier to run a company. Difficult is to keep. Uh, going at this uh, whole <laughs> situation because uh, from an economic point of view it's very very difficult that uh, ayurveda is your life you can do it otherwise uh, if you think that is a business uh, you cannot do it awesome. or you may do it if you think it's a business but you will not get to the quality that uh, uh, you want of uh, our school is summarized by this uh, phrase from Charaka. The Chatuspada, the four, four padas, the four feet of the therapy, which are physician, drug, attendant, and patient. Each of them with their own qualities. The quality of the physician, the quality of the drug or the treatment, the quality of the attendant or the therapist, the quality of the patient. With the quality of this quadruple, we, then we can have a real good therapy. And the physician and the attendant are equal role, equal but different role for the patient. Importance, but different roles, and this is fundamental. Tell to the patient what is the prescription, the diagnosis, the prescription. So he has to tell to the patient something that the patient does not want to do, because if he did what he has to do. He would have not been sick. Just help and follow the patient in doing what he does not want to do. In Sanskrit, for therapist is upashtata. 
next to the patient. Doctor, doctor is uh, an etymology that refers to who gives you the guide for uh, your pathway of uh, he healing. And uh, now, just to give you an idea, you know, there are some limitations here on the, on the webinar, but just to give you an idea, I'll show you some pictures of our school. Here, you know, there are uh, some uh, parts of our school where we, where we can have the practical, and uh, then we, there are other rooms where there are drones where we can make a practical on the, you know, the drone, there are the uh, treatment table, typical treatment table of Ayurveda. But of course, we cannot have uh, you know, 15 drones here all together. <laughs> so we have another section where they have two drones. The, uh, theory, um, can you repeat what, what room? Theory, where you have a you know, theory for uh, you know, um, having also. We, we do not, uh, we do not, uh, we do not have, we, we, we prefer to have always direct teaching because uh, we think that Ayurveda, you know, it's very important to have a person to person contact. In our school also, we try to make uh, a very important thing that is uh, also connected with the, the tradition is uh, to connect uh, yoga and Ayurveda in Ayurveda yoga therapy. That means, uh, uh, you know, uh, using Ayurvedic, uh, uh, using uh, yoga asanas from an Ayurvedic point of view in such a way that uh, yoga can become a therapeutic tool also for Ayurveda. You see here, for example, there, are, there is one of our traditional drone that uh, we use for uh, specific teachings and also for specific therapy, where you cannot do on the massage bed. Again, other image, other image, also with uh, some uh, guests. We have uh, about, uh, uh, we will show you later, but we have about uh, 18 teachers in our school. Chile? Uh, uh, SNA or Shadasala, a program that uh, is going on from the last 13 years, one, three, 13 years, uh, that is a parallel program to uh, our program in Italy, uh, being studied to go in parallel with the program in Italy. At the end of each year in Italy, if the student passed the examination, then is, uh, uh, he can he can uh, uh, he can go to India to uh, for the for the correspondent year of uh, study in India. That is, is not one year actually. is uh, is uh, fifteen days in depth, and at the end of these fifteen days, there is uh, an examination in India also. <clears throat> uh, so the four years in study, they correspond to four stages in uh, India have a two joint diploma of that student is uh, you know complete at least we think that can be adequate and uh, okay these are some <clears throat> of the of the pictures of uh, our training in, uh, in India. And as you can see here, there is a, a continuous education, a continuous medical education program between uh, Italy and India, between the SNA and Ayurvedic Point. Other speaker? But the most important thing is that uh, uh, the, uh, this program in India is uh, uh, performed 
with uh, one of the most uh, ancient institutions in India, and it is uh, an Ashtavaidian family in Kerala. It is not a resort. It is yes, not, yes. It is not a resort. It is not uh, a vacation place. It is a real hospital. It is a clinic where the students not only learn and uh, you know make uh, uh, deepen they deepen their uh, their knowledge, but uh, they enter in touch with the Indian way of thinking, which help in understanding better Ayurveda. I am Italian, you're Russian, we are not Indians. Mm -hmm. The deep meaning of uh, Ayurveda, which is uh, expressed in the Indian thinking, in a close connection with Indian thinking, in order to understand Ayurveda and be able to translate Ayurveda in our system of knowledge. Now, a little bit of uh, what are our projects right now. We are uh, collaborating to international uh, clinical trials. The two most important are the one, are these two. Slide is a little bit strange. There are two different uh, fonts. I don't know what happened to this slide, but uh, we, we can read it anyhow. Uh, you know, it, it is actually it is uh, it is going to be published, and uh, it is very important because uh, uh, it is a, a trial on the effects of multidimensional approach of Ayurveda on osteoarthritis of the knee. Because why is so important? Because for the first time in the Western world. It has been done a study on 150 patients considering the whole multidimensional approach of Ayurveda, not only one herb or one drug. Yeah. The control group and the Ayurvedic group underwent the control group to, uh, you know, Western drug was a methotrexate plus physiotherapy. physical therapy of Ayurvedic type, uh, Ayurvedic drugs, uh, uh, counseling for, uh, you know, mental, uh, mental ecology, uh, meditation, yoga, and nutrition. Ayurvedic pharmacology, yoga, and the uh, results are uh, stunning, are fantastic, and will be published uh, in the next uh, weeks. The important thing of this study is that uh, we had to design a completely new cli cli uh, clinical protocol, uh, randomized, double-blind uh, uh, of uh, modern medicine. But it's a completely new one that can be adapted also to other traditional medicines other than Ayurveda. The protocol has been published already on trials. That is a very important scientific magazine on, clinic, on uh, clinical protocols. A study that we are just starting with Professor Bresolin Ramanohar and Professor Delefave in uh, in uh, it is a, a, a study that will be done part in Italy, part in India on the Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is uh, a very very much uh, important uh, and terrible disease. Mm -hmm. This is instead a list that uh, again we cannot uh, of course uh, follow uh, all of them, but. Uh, is a list of uh, the uh, study that have been uh, uh, presented to, uh, to Congress or published that we have uh, followed in these years. And they go for, from uh, 
the definition of diagnostic and prognostic evaluation of tools according to Ayurvedic principle. And you can you can read all of them. There are many, many, many. And then there are many others. I mean, there, are, there is all a list. They they go from dementia to uh, to the urinary dysfunction to neuropathic pain, huh. acute delirium in children, post surgery acute delirium in children, or some no, very no, basic no, uh, uh, studies like this one that has been published on uh, uh, European Journal of Integrative Medicine. That is the analysis and validation of psychological correlates according to the Ayurvedic constitution diagnosis system. Other medicine instrumental analysis and test according to Ayurvedic logic and diagnosis system, which is uh, uh, something that also you know Veda Pulse is doing with uh, with Oleg. the reading of uh, uh, magnetic resonance uh, according to Ayurvedic perspective. Academy. Other ongoing studies uh, uh, that goes from uh, stress, burnout, biochemical activity of ghee in vitro, and so on. These are, these are not being published yet. So far, we have published uh, uh, 63 papers on a peer-reviewed journal that goes from uh, Journal of Ayurveda Integrative Medicine and Science of Life. Actually, we, as a very point, we are also the International Office of uh, Science Life uh, and Science of Life. Important the International <laughs> Office of Science and Science of Life has been done to. Uh, to uh, improve the involvement of Western researcher in Ayurveda. It is the, the most important journal of Ayurveda PubMed Indexed. Yep. Also on ICAM, evidence based for Shen, the complementary medicine, Journal of Integ Integrative Medicine, and EPMA Journal. We published also a book by Springer, which has been a breakthrough on the, the new concept of uh, health, an integrated concept of health and well-being. One of the, the, the important things of this book is that it's by Springer. Springer is a you know, very important publisher that is very selective in uh, the publication and uh, uh, publication on Ayurveda by Springer is uh, very rare. And uh, it is a book where uh, there are very, uh, there are many uh, contributors to the concept from uh, this, the, the, the epistemological concept from Ayurveda to modern science. How can we find a common uh, concept of uh, health. Transcultural concept is a basic concept and if you want to interface, if you want to, to collaborate between the two systems of knowledge, the Western and the Indian, we have to find a common platform. The health is not considered because it's absence of disease, but this is not true. Western culture. Can you clarify? Health, health is absence of disease. Yeah. Absence of disease. You cannot define. You cannot understand the prevention. At the university, medical school, no one showed me what does it means to be healthy. I don't. I don't know what is an unhealthy person, because. They were teaching me only diseases. People from the Western world, the people from Ayurveda, uh, on this uh, topic of health and how to uh, have uh, to find a common uh, definition of health between the two systems in this book. As the result, the new definition of health, that health is resilience. That means. Uh, 
the capacity of, a, of an organism to adapt the capacity of an, of an organism mm -hmm. to adapt mm -hmm. to the change of the environment. The perspective yeah. of modern medicine, for example, in chronic diseases, aging, uh, you know, um, uh, how you call it, uh, uh, disabled people, in, uh, it, it is still a, a very important because it came out in 2013 and uh, there have been uh, almost 7,000 downloads from Springer of this book. Show you a few pictures of our clinical center in Milano. And this uh, very few things. And uh, I would like to thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Dr. Dr. Morandi. Uh, now we are ready to, we have a question. Uh, uh, Yes. Let me let me write it, uh, read it in in Russian, and then translate it. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Marandi, um, do you plan, or maybe already do, um, uh, accept students yes, from Kazakhstan for education? Uh, are in Italian. <laughs> this is the only thing that come from abroad. We have people, uh, students from Ukraine. We have students from Latvia, we have students from uh, Spain, but we are all students that uh, learn Italian before coming to our place. Because there are also some... Yes, there are also um, some uh, uh, foreign please, teachers, please mm -hmm. they speak in English, but they are very few. In one year, the most of the teachings is in Italian. Um, thank you, um, Dr. Antonio. Um, we hope uh, uh, for future uh, productive uh, cooperation and uh, new webinars. Thank Thanks a lot. Okay.